In Butler County, fire and swift water rescue teams spent the day rescuing people from their flooded homes. And one of the places seeing significant flooding is along the Conequinessing River in Harmony. Roscadati spent the day there as residents were trying to save what they could from the rising water. It has been a very difficult day for people living anywhere close to the Conequinessin. Case in point, back there you see that green shed right there, okay? On the other side of that is the Conequinessin. I'm standing in about a foot and a half of water. The houses to my left and right, their basements are inundated, and they aren't the only ones. And this comes just about two weeks after another flood pretty much did the same thing to this entire area. For many first responders in the area, the last 24 hours have been exhausting. We got a couple hours of sleep, but uh, definitely some tired folks out here. Harmony Fire District Deputy Chief Doug Pickett, who we found directing boat teams to house after house after house, trying to help people trapped by the high water. This is our third one this morning. Um, we are about six victims removed, a couple pets. In this case, a husband and wife put in a rescue craft for a short trip to higher and drier ground. The two walking away together hand in hand with what they could quickly grab. This is pretty common for us. Springtime, you expect at least one good flood usually. But two major flash floods inside of two weeks is not the norm. This one definitely came on faster than the last one. Well, we are uh, losing the basement as we speak. Um, it's filling. Jill Matafari and family did their very best to try to save what they could again. We had cleaned everything out from the last one. Didn't anticipate this again, so we did put things back. And of course, again, we've got to pull everything back out. As hours passed, the water showed no signs of returning to the Conoquinescence banks some 100 yards away from Matafari's home. We've been here for 20 years. We moved in just before 04 Ivan flood. So we've dealt with it for this long. Um, we are kind of getting tired of it. But right now, finding somewhere else to live is not at the top of the agenda. We're alive, you know, we're, personal belongings can be replaced. So as long as everybody's safe, you know, what else can you do? <laughs> to give you an idea of how frustrating it is for people who live in this particular area of harmony with the Conoquinesson, over its bank, it's the following. They are pumping gallons and gallons of water out of their basement, only to have it go back into the river and head back in to where they were once pumping it out. And another problem is this. There's going to be a lot more things that have to be gotten rid of. They want to know when the next dumpster is going to show up. That dumpster is actually full of all the old things that the last flood damaged here about two weeks ago. In Harmony, Butler County, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.